Hello everyone, I haven't done a video for a while and I just thought I would, uh, I would, I would make a, a short presentation on uh, the Love, Peace, Harmony song, um, power and significance and, um, and the movements as well. So those of you who do know me know my my history with this movement and with this song. And those of you who don't, I'll just give you a brief uh, rundown. I was introduced to meditation coming up to 12 years ago now. And uh, I was introduced to this song almost straight away. And when, and I'll really sum this up, but when I was uh, finding the, the, the benefits I was receiving from chanting this mantra and meditating with this song, <clears throat> I was getting constant insights, which uh, some of my more recent insights I'm going to share in this presentation. I'm still getting insights from this mantra meditation. Around 2016, 17, maybe, I, um, I really wanted to look at what do we have a solution as a species? And when I uh, went down that road, I found that there was an abundance of research that proves that we do have a solution as a species for world peace. And I created a, a presentation which uses the latest scientific research um, to prove that collective meditation is a genuine solution for world peace. That presentation's on my YouTube channel on the playlists on the Love Peace Harmony presentation, and there's a lot. There's a lot of uh, <clears throat> research in there. It talks about how we interact with the field, so on and so forth. Uh, it's a two-hour presentation, including the meditation. And uh, me and my wife and my son and our dog, uh, we travelled around Australia for over two years in a school bus, uh, and gave you know uh, over fifty presentations. Uh, around Australia, this uh, shared in this presentation. 2022, we're in now, and I'm still convinced that this is the most uh, important solution still today. I really do. Um, but today, what I'm going to focus on, I'm going to share with you um the power of this mantra the mantra alone okay so i'll share a little bit about the goal as we go through the presentation but uh, i really just wanted to share um the uh, share the presentation so yeah i'll just get to it so i've studied for for years uh, the Tao Te Ching, which is uh, the Lao Tzu's text, 81 powerful chapters on the Tao. Um, also studied my spiritual teacher, his uh, Tao teachings, the Tao One, the Tao Two, and also the melding with Tao texts, which is really emphasizing the Tao journey. I've also uh, studied the Heart Sutra, for years, and, and, and also my, my teacher is studying these in depth now, too. And I did a heart sutra retreat with, uh, with my teacher last year, and they uh, got many insights actually into love, peace, harmony. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how they're all actually in the song, all of the essence of these ancient, profound spiritual texts. So one song covers all, okay? The song to love, peace, harmony is, uh, is it's in Chinese, in, in soul language, and in um, English. So when my teacher received this song, uh, he, he basically asked for a sacred divine mantra to come to his spiritual channels, which he received. Um, then he translated it into his native tongue, which is uh, Chinese. Then he translated it into English. Slightly different in Chinese. <clears throat> Line three in his Chinese is Wang Ling Rong He Mu 
Oh, uh, what that means is all souls join together as one and harmonize the world or possibly countless worlds. Um, I've heard my, my teacher uh, share that, but obviously it, 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 it translated more easily in the song to join hearts and souls together. And I've had multiple insights of both the Chinese and the English. Remember, uh, each language carries its own frequency and vibration. So this is why it's actually beneficial to chant in Chinese soul language as well, the, 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 uh, the, the language you received it in, and also in English. They all serve a purpose and they all feel very different actually. I enjoy chanting them all. So what is the song? Five simple lines. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. <clears throat> Join hearts and souls together, love, peace, harmony, love, peace, harmony. Very, very simple. Simple way to translate this is to love and heal yourself. Starts with yourself. I often say you can't give a million dollars if you don't have it. If you try and love other people, if you try and start at line two uh, and you don't have any love inside, it's uh, people won't feel your love. So we have to realize who we are, find the divine consciousness within us and love that. Yeah, and then you can you naturally progress the line too. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, harmony. Love, peace, harmony. So many avenues I could <clears throat> share with this song. The insights I've had. Um, even you know, I. So there's you're identifying with a separate soul in the beginning. I love my heart and soul. I, the separate soul, love all humanity. You get to a point where you actually see yourself as being one with all the I is dropped, then you are just calling for all hearts and souls to join together for universal love, universal peace, universal harmony. Yeah, I love my heart and soul and join hearts and souls together. Also could mean um, we're moving into a new era. We've, we've actually entered a new era. It's a soul light era. You think about the last era, we have been progressively being cut off from spirits, more atheists than ever now. There's never been atheism in, uh, in ancient cultures ever. More atheists than ever, we're attached to matter, material things, and we're cut off from spirit. This is a, a new era where we are actually reconnecting with the soul world, okay? So the heart is the master organ in traditional Chinese medicine. So it represents the master organ in the physical body, let's say. During hearts and souls, it's, it's also the spiritual heart is the receiver of information from the soul world. So to join hearts and souls together is to actually join the physical world and the spiritual world. Okay, So there's, there's multiple levels, levels of uh, meaning and understanding in this mantra. But I'm just going to go a little bit deeper, actually. <clears throat> And I'm just going to tie in all the different uh, teachings from like the Tao Jini, the Tao Te Ching, and uh, the Heart Sutra. So I love my heart and soul. Bringing love to the heart creates a quiet, peaceful, content, and kind heart. Very, very simple. Bringing love to the heart opens the heart. And when the heart is open, uh, we receive more from the spiritual world. Okay, so you think about uh, compassionate people, the more compassionate and more open hearted they are, their posture actually opens up and they're more connected to everything. If you see people who are closed hearted, the more they uh, close off and come into this shell and they, 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 they literally care, look, they cut themselves off, they become more. Uh, whether it's a victim or just whatever mentality they move into, it's more ego consciousness. Ego consciousness is separation consciousness. Uh, the ego is a separate being from the whole. So you look at everything in nature, it, it, it all depends on one another and uh, it is whole. Uh, the ego is a separation from that whole, seeing yourself as a separate being and you become anti-life, okay? Um, you don't become life affirming, you become life denying. So bringing love to the heart also purifies our karma. This is our karma center. 
It opens our spiritual channels. Bringing love to our heart increases our soul standing. Okay. Through purity, uh, sorry, it increases our soul standing through purity and helps keep us detached from the world, yet creates compassion. Uh, love in the soul is enlightening. Love in the soul is healing. Love in the soul uh, clears karma. So this is the soul now, okay? We love the heart. What, what happens when we love the heart? When we love the soul, it is enlightening, okay? It's healing. Why is it healing? Because uh, energy and matter are carriers of information. Information is the soul. Every, all form all form is informed. There's an information behind this reality, okay? You heal the soul first, energy, matter will follow. So he, loving your soul is sending loving energies to your soul. You're healing the soul first, energy, matter will follow. Uh, loving the soul clears karma. Why do we have challenges in the physical world? because there is information in the field of what we've done in the past, our past actions, our cause and effect in this life and past lives. That's our karma. So loving the soul uh, can heal that karma. Uh, love is forgiveness. So loving the soul is forgiving one's past mistakes. We're forgiving ourselves. This is a massive step. Some people find it easier to forgive others than they do to forgive themselves. Uh, love, love in the heart and soul is acknowledging divinity within our being. So you think about that. If you think of a, a tree has an intelligence, tree grows towards the sun, um, you know, it, it's conscious. Uh, we, the, the conscious mind can't figure out how this body works. This body is in, uh, in sync with the stars. You know, the moon affects our, our, our biology. The stars do, that affects our emotions and our mood. Um, I don't know if I'm getting these figures right. I know there's 50 trillion plus cells in the body. And they only make, make up 10% of our body. I, I'm pretty sure I heard once that every cell does 4 million things a second. Okay, so the, 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 the body's digesting our food, making a baby, playing the piano, fighting off infection. We're not aware of that. Okay, there is a, a divine intelligence that is doing that. So when we can acknowledge that this is an incredible uh, creation, this, this body, we can acknowledge that there is a divine, humble uh, essence within us. There is divinity within us. Our heart doesn't want recognition and it beats 24 hours a day, seven days a week and sing with everything in the body. When we can acknowledge that, we can love that. Okay. We can love ourselves. We can love that divinity within us. And then we move on to the next line, which is to see that in everything. Fundamentally, we enlighten ourselves, which is the first step in the Buddhist vow. Uh, vow to reach a Buddha for the benefit of all sentient beings. So in the, in, in, in the Mahayana Buddha especially, you vow to become a Buddha so you can be of greater service to all sentient beings. This is, I love my heart and soul. It is taking that first step to say, I love this uh, existence. I love myself, my heart and soul. It's beautiful, it's perfect. And I vow to enlighten myself so that I can be of service to all sentient beings. I can benefit all sentient beings more. I love all humanity is line two. Um, what's this mean? Okay, Love all beings selflessly. All of nature is selfless. I'm sitting on a meditation stool right now that is serving selflessly as a stool. This computer is serving as a computer. Okay, This bottle of water is serving as a bottle. And the water is saved, and as water, trees save selflessly. All things save selflessly. So love all beings selflessly. Uh, it's only our ego consciousness that actually separates from this and becomes selfish. Everything else in nature is selfless. 
So I love all humanity is to align with nature's uh, love and kindness. The sun doesn't care whether you're a good person or a bad person, it will shine. It's light on you, okay? So I love all humanity, love all beings selflessly. Again, this purifies our spiritual debt. We are now using this uh, unique uh, manifestation in the cosmos. We are using it to uh, save all sentient beings, okay? This is like purifying our spiritual death. Say we make some mistakes in the past. It's like, a, it's like having some ink, okay? Every time we love all beings and save others, we're adding water, we're diluting our karma, okay? That's one way of, 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 of understanding it. Again, we see divinity in everything. What we've seen in ourselves, we now see everywhere. We become selfless servants, and we become vessels for God. For God, this uh, divine intelligence that's in all things, okay? We allow that to flow through us. We don't stop it, block it with the ego. Line three, join hearts and souls together. Wan Ling Rung He Mu Shi Shen in Chinese, all souls join together and harmonize the, the world or worlds. The Buddhist sat for vow to save all beings before ourselves. Although the number of sentient beings is countless, I vow to save them all. When chanting this line, we are calling all beings to love and forgive each other. Also calling the physical world and the spiritual world to unite, which is the soul light here, been over there. But basically that's the power of this line. My teacher says, in ancient time, they, they said disaster comes from our speech, okay? Yeah, in hermeticism and in all the ancient traditions, uh, your, your speech is very powerful because when we speak, we are pushing information through the field, into the field, okay? Uh, if I share something with you that's very enlightening, okay, that information when it reaches you, or a, a teacher, when my teacher shares something, he can say something so simple, but there's so much depth and meaning behind it, it really moves me, okay? At the same time, some people can say things and really hate you. So it's very important what we, what we say. So to chant, join hearts and souls together, and in Chinese, you chant, Wan Ling Rung we are putting a calling out a frequency and vibration into the field uh, in Tibetan Buddhism they say that when you chant a prayer for all beings it stays in the field until it's achieved okay and the, the bigger the prayer the bigger the mantra the bigger the momentum the bigger the blessing the bigger the merit okay so uh, join hearts and souls together when sang from the heart. You really mean it. Join hearts and souls together. We are talking to all beings and we are asking them to love and forgive each other and join hearts and souls together. Those who are cut off from the spiritual world, that information going into the field will be affecting them for the, for the, be for the benefit. It will be opening their heart a little bit to... Uh, to see a, 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 a spiritual world, to connect the physical world and the spiritual world, open up to find your spiritual path again. And this is when we sing it alone, very powerful. But um, when we sing this as a group or when we achieve the goal of this movement, it will literally be, uh, it will be very fast, it will be quantum. So the final two lines is love, peace, harmony, love, peace, harmony. Help take all beings to the other shore in Buddhism. The Heart Sutra is uh, the, the, the sutra that takes, uh, takes you to, to, to the other shore. The other shore is like, the, it's across the bitter sea. This is what my teacher has been sharing. Um, so the, 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 the Mahayana school is, and the Bodhisattva vow is, now, may all sentient beings uh, sit, 
which serve all sentient beings, no matter the number is, is countless, right? It's basically, I vow to, many Buddhas have, have said, I vow to not take the title of Buddhahood until there's no more beings in hell, where the service is huge. Their intention is to take all sentient beings to the other shore. In the Taoist teachings, it's the same. Help take all beings uh, to Tao, which is Tian Di Ren Hui or Shen Qi Jing Hui or Wan Ling Rong He. It means Tian Di Ren Hui, heaven, Mother Earth, humanity join as one. One is the Tao, it's the source. That's the Tao reverse creation. All beings return them back to the source. Shen Qi Jing Hui, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter join as one. One is Tao. Return them back. Wan Ling Wong He, these are Taoist mantras. All souls join as one. One is Tao. Okay. So Buddhism takes all beings to the other shore. Taoism return everything to Tao. Uh, Master Shah's book, uh, Living Divine Relationships, he says, We become God's shepherd, helping both light and dark return to Tao before ourselves. So uh, a lot of wisdom in that line, especially for 2022, because there's still a lot of people who are choosing to stay on the battlefield. I'm a light worker and we have to blah, 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 the dark side. We have to make them pay, blah, 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 blah. And this is a very, far more humble approach, in my opinion. And it's, it's, a, it's a position which is off the battlefield. Yeah, we become God's shepherd, helping both light and dark, okay? Return to that, return to God, return to heaven before ourselves. It's the same as the Buddhist Afavel. No negativity in ourselves and in all beings. This is what love, peace, harmony is. It's universal love, peace, harmony. It's a state of unconditional, pure love, pure peace, pure harmony for all beings, not just for those who are Christians, Muslims, and Buddhists, and everybody else is gonna suffer in hell. No, no, no. If this mantra includes all beings. And so there's no more beings in hell. And we achieve in Taoism, what they, they say is Yu Dao He Jian. Yu Dao He Jian means meld with Tao. Tao is the source of all things. Da Dao Jie Jian means the big way is extremely simple. I'm not saying that it's uh, going to be easy because so many people are... Uh, ego driven okay um and you know probably will we'll, a lot of people might mock this presentation and say it's a load of blah 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 but the big way is extremely simple the principle is simple okay what's the principle uh, the principle is the goal let's say the goal of this mission which i was going to end on but the goal of this mission is basically uh to get 1.5 billion people meditating and singing this song together, right? That is a very simple goal. It doesn't have to be complicated. And how would it work? This reality is not solid. The Buddha said it, Lao Tzu said it, quantum physics is saying it. This reality is not solid. If you want a very simple practice where you can have some type of experience of this is sit down, Preferably if you've got a broad uh, view. So rather than sitting in a room looking at a wall, which would still work, I've done that, would still work. Try and go to more like a, a garden or a field or a landscape and just pick a point on the horizon and just settle yourself down and focus. Don't move off it. You will see everything move. And after a period of a few minutes, might take some people a bit longer, you will see everything move very differently, very differently. Uh, you'll see that you'll, I, I, it's, I all, whenever I do it, I always see like the floor will move, like the, the solid, what, what I think is solid will move, like, like almost like uh, looking at an ocean. So this reality is not, some, uh, not solid. 
we wouldn't be able to manifest things if this was a solid reality, okay? It is information and it is illusory. Therefore, what we focus on in our own life is what we experience, okay? If we're angry, we see angry people. If we're anxious and we're in a rush, we hit every red light on our way to work. If we are peaceful, we experience peace in our lives. And they've done research on this because when we get groups of people to actually collectively focus on the same thing, there's been over 23 peer-reviewed scientific studies of how when groups of people have come together and collectively focused on peace and coherence energy at the same time in their visualization and in what they feel in their body, they've been, in a, they've been able to intentionally create change in major cities, in war zones. And what type of change that it's, it's positive change. They're always measuring uh, statistics of cities, for example, the uh, divorce rates, accident, uh, emergency room visits, violence, crime, all these things. Uh, in these studies they did, they got these people to meditate for a, pay, a window of time. They called it a window of prayer. And they would meditate for, say, four hours a day. And they would measure the statistics over a few days in that window of prayer. And what they found was there was an average of greater than 72%, which is massive, reduction in things like crime, violence, emergency room visits, divorce rates, car accidents, in that window of prayer. And it's very uh, simple to understand, okay? Where we put our attention collectively is what we, what we manifest. So uh, the Maharishi effect, he said it, to kickstart this phenomenon, we only need the square root of 1% of a given population, which is a very small number. And then it's called a lead lag analysis which means that, for example, if you were to smoke uh, a six cigarettes, every extra cigarette you smoke throughout the day increases your chance of getting lung cancer, for example, as you smoke more. So it's the same as with the meditation. The more people join the meditation and focus on the same piece of co uh, coherent energy, the faster and more dramatic the results are. So we literally 1.5 billion people around the world singing, meditating on one song with a message this powerful it is literally we would see a change in the world very, very fast. If you look at how the negative polarity beings control this world, they use mainstream media and they get us all to focus in a, a future event that is very detrimental. And when the, most of the world focus on that, we create the world that they uh, want us to create for them because we're easily divided and controlled. Very simple. So here is a daily practice, okay? Yeah, this is from the Taoist tradition. This is also Buddhism as well. Do not see polluted things. Do not speak polluted words. Do not hear polluted things. So there is three internal treasures and there is uh, three external gates, okay? So the, the external gates is our ears, eyes, and our mouth. Internal treasures, Shen, Qi, and Jing. Shen is soul, heart, mind. Qi is energy. Jing is matter. So if we see polluted things, one can lose their soul journey, okay? You think about people who see really detrimental things, they close their heart if they haven't got a spiritual practice. Uh, Joe Dispenza tells stories uh, of women that were a part of the Khmer Rouge in uh, Cambodia, and they'd seen so much uh, cruel violence and things to their loved ones that they went blind, okay? 
There was nothing biologically wrong with their eyes. To study their eyes, their eyes should have been working perfectly, but they went blind because their body shut off from seeing any more pollution. So when we see polluted things, we can get lost. We can lose our faith in humanity and we can lose our soul journey. If we protect what we see, our soul resides peacefully in our heart. Okay, we'll go back up here. Um, we uh, love our heart and soul, creates quiet, peaceful, content, kind heart. Okay. If we uh, speak polluted words, we lose our vital energy. Uh, if we don't waste our words and only save with our speech, it builds vitality, uh, vital energy in our lower dantian, which boosts uh, energy, stamina, vitality, immunity, and longevity. Lower dantian is a key uh, foundational energy center in Taoism. If we hear polluted things, we lose matter from our kidneys. Uh, if you are, uh, for example, always hear negative news, and I know a few people who, who, do, who do this a lot, and they suffer with things like tinnitus. Okay? Tinnitus is low kidney energy. So if we protect what we hear, uh, it helps build matter production in the, in the kidneys, it strengthens the body, simple as that. So the mission is to get 1.5 billion people singing uh, this beautiful song. This song is copyrighted to humanity. Uh, it's humanity's song. You make as many copies as you want. You can share it around as much as you want. A very enjoyable song. There's many testimonials of people who've changed their business around, uh, playing this in their business, um, that have had natural disasters that have affected everyone around except for their home that's been playing this. And this might sound like fairy tale stuff, but we can actually explain it now. We can explain it because everything is frequency and vibration. Everything is field, okay? This is where Master Shah's Tao Science is coming in to explain what he's doing. Everything has its own field, a cell has its own field, an organ has its own field, a body has its own field, a house has its own field. A field consists of information, energy, and matter, Shen Chi Jing, okay? Um, if you come to somebody that needs healing and they, uh, they, they, their Shen Chi Jing, their field is depleted, Okay, there's negative information in there, low energy and, and, and uh, uh, matter is, is suffering. Okay, you can maybe chant love, peace, harmony or play love, peace, harmony next to them, which will create a field which is got positive information, high energy and uh, a pure matter. Okay. And that field can actually transform their field. It can heal their Shen Chi Jing, their information, energy, and matter. So we can direct the field with this song. So there was a gentleman who had a, a struggling hotel. He played Love, Peace, Harmony very low in every single room in the hotel. And his business went through the roof. It changed the field of his business and uh, of the property as well. So it's the same for us. We can change our lives playing this song. Um, when we chant it, we're turning this biological and spiritual vessel into an instrument that can offer uh, healing to the world. Okay, so when I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing a Love Peace Harmony group every week and I'm gonna get the big calligraphies, the Shanghai Pinga and Hershey, which is Love Peace Harmony calligraphies. And I'm gonna do it on Zoom rather than a social media platform. So anyone that wants to join can join. And that is a place to come for healing, but it is also a time where we are coming together to save all beings. But let's say you can't make that. And let's say you don't want to sing this song. The least I am asking is play the song all the time, 24-7. Play it in your house. Even if 
every single house in your area was just playing the song on low. It is creating a vibrational uh, change and it will make a huge difference. You think about uh, people's feng shui, a lot of people smudge their homes, right? They try and get rid of stagnant negative energy. Um, you may <clears throat> have a room in your house where you always argue with your wife. Is, is a good way of explaining it. Uh, when the sun comes through the window and the sun heats up a tabletop, everything's information. The information from the sun is being absorbed into the, the information of the table until it can't take any more. And then it starts to emit that heat, that information. If you had uh, somebody sit on your couch and they were grieving and they were releasing a lot of grief and a lot of uh, negative energy, let's say, they might leave, but the couch has absorbed this information. You might have somebody else come who's in a good mood, sits on the couch, but they're overwhelmed by the information that is coming now off the couch, okay? So, so if, if, if a lot of people find that they argue or they, the kids argue in a certain room, right? Uh, one thing you could start by doing is when they come home from school or when they come home from work, go to a different room first and see if you argue in a different room because that room might have absorbed so much negativity that it's now emitting negativity. So this is why a lot of people smudge things, might have a piece of furniture might have come from another home and it might have been in a room with a lot of arguing, okay? A lot of negativity, you're bringing that into your home. So a negative entities can latch onto things like this and they find the resonance in these, uh, if they're of negative polarity, they find the resonance, coherence in the detrimental uh, low vibrational frequencies in certain rooms, okay, where you might always argue and they feed off that. So when we look at smudging a place, playing love, peace, harmony is going to do two things, one of two things. Its frequency is going to be so high and benevolent that um, souls like this are not going to find it um, comfortable. Right, and they're gonna they're gonna leave, or they it's gonna change their vibration, and they'll progress spiritually. They might go to the light side, okay? Yeah, they might progress towards the Tao. Therefore, this is saving lost souls. It's also putting uh, this benevolent, loving, forgiven, peaceful information into your home, uh, into your family. So this is the ultimate feng shui tool is to play this song <laughs> in, your, in your house, play it on your plate, in your car, wherever you can, um, and meditate with it. So I'm just putting it out there just so that you can do whatever you want. You want to go and play it yourself. You, you want to go and research it, or you want to go and do what you want to do. Uh, don't take any my my word for anything. But this truly is the essence of the spiritual journey. Yeah, th this, this song is the essence of the spiritual journey. It really is. Love yourself first. Love all beings. Yeah, call all beings to join together to create universal love, peace, and harmony. To create peace on earth. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to share this video, please share it. Um, but also know that if you are interested in uh, joining our Zoom calls. I don't want to put a date on it yet because uh, there's still a little bit of work going on where we're living, but it will be soon, okay? It will be soon. It'll probably be, I don't know what day it'll be. I don't want to give a day in case it's different. But if you're interested, reach out to me on Facebook or YouTube um, and uh, we'll get you on and we can join together every week, serve the greater good and try and grow this meditation. And I encourage you all also to do it yourself. You know, it's very, very simple. You want to get a group of people in your hometown to just come together once a week. 
play the song and uh, together and just sing along. It really is that simple. We'll do an invocation. We'll invoke all beings to chant with us. We'll ask for forgiveness. We'll offer forgiveness and then we'll sing. It's that simple. My teacher says, when three souls come together, uh, three hearts come together, their power can cut gold. And it's important because you only need three people who get it, who understand the power and significance of when we come together and meditate and chant this song, it helps ourselves, our families, communities in the world, okay? If you get that and you can get three people who are on board, it doesn't matter if it doesn't grow very fast because you've got your three core people there every week and you're making a huge difference. And just with that foundation of three people, it will grow. It will grow, okay? And honestly, 50 people is huge. 100 people, massive. Yeah, but imagine a world, hold that visualization in your heart and in your mind. What, what would, what would 1.5 billion people singing and meditating together to this movement, what would that feel like? And don't feel or see it in the future. Feel it and see it now, in the now. Feel it, draw it in now. That is how manifestation works. I love you all. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.